If you have your GCSEs this year or any other sort of end of year exams, this video is for you. I'm going to give you guys a few tips in case you're feeling lost about what you're meant to be doing around this time of the year. Because I get a lot of comments of people asking how much they should be revising at the moment and what specific things they need to start doing now. It's not a long video but we'll just get straight into it. Firstly, around this time you probably have a lot of exams and tests and even a few mock exams maybe. It's really really important to revise for these as best as you can and make notes for these or revision resources or flashcards or whatever you do make sure you make them for every test that you have and for every topic that you go over because now's the time to make sure you finalize those notes and those resources and those flashcards and whatever it is make sure that in these last couple of months before your exams you have the resources in place so when you're actually doing revision for the entire subjects you don't sit there and make new resources because instead you should be spending as much time towards practice papers and exam questions and things like that so right now you don't need to be revising too much but whenever you have a test of any sort make sure that you put your effort into that and you make resources for that whether it's mind maps notes flashcards whatever for you that works do that I personally made flashcards for each one of my subjects apart from a few and so during this time of the year in like January February March time I spent most of my time just making those flashcards going over those flashcards making sure that everything was there that was the main gist of the this period I guess. Now this is also the period of the year where you should start beginning to do practice questions. So throughout the year you should have really only been doing practice questions when exams came about. That's usually the best way to revise for the exams that you have throughout year 11 for example. But around this time of the year is now the beginning of starting to do practice questions for the real thing and just doing practice for the sake of practicing it rather because of a specific exam that you may have. Now it's still very early at this time and I do not recommend you spend hours and hours revising honestly the max I want you to be doing right now is two hours one hour just like extra revision so on top of the homework that you might be getting or tests that you might be revising for spend at least an hour or two a day just going over everything and going over weak areas and topics specifically that you find that you're not as good at and just do a few practice questions for them it shouldn't be that much but this is the time to start building those habits so you get more and more used to actually doing questions and being able to practice that exam technique the only time I want you to do more revision at the moment than that is when you have actual tests coming up so if you have a small topic test in a few days revise for that as much as you can obviously don't revise like hours and hours but do do a decent amount of revision so when you go into that exam you feel prepared so then afterwards when you get your results for it you can see what you might need to improve for next time that's what you're really meant to be doing at the moment and that's what I did so my main revision was simply revising for tests and on the side I would do a few questions and topics that I wouldn't really understand now if you are struggling with how to know what to practice I recommend just making a list of all your topics for every subject and just looking at what you might be struggling with what topics you have not gone over in ages and just doing a bit of that you don't need to do a lot trust me at this point in time just relax you don't have much to do I will tell you when you should start revising near the end of the video but for now just don't stress honestly another thing I want you to be doing at this time as well is analyzing your past exam so I've already mentioned how whenever you have a test to go over that test see what you went wrong on and to give yourself targets for the next time it's also important to look at your mocks that you've done previously and see what potentially might have gone wrong in those and so you can use those tips to try and improve for next time so it's all about looking over past exam questions and being able to improve those and looking over past tests and being able to improve those so if you just continuously do that from time to time you'll get more and more used to seeing where your errors are and what you're weaker at and you'll be able to play to your strengths more effectively and so when the actual thing comes about you'll know where you're going to do well and you know where you aren't necessarily going to do well so you've already improved in those areas. So what I want you to take away is to have some sort of daily revision that you do which is just a small amount of practice questions for just a few topics here and there each day. Try and do a bit of every subject. Don't just spend one day doing maths, one day doing English. Try and do a bit of everything. So at this time what I often did was I'd do like an essay for English language or something every once a week or something depending on really what I was doing in class at the time and then I'd just give that to my teacher and let them mark it and I would also at the same time be doing a few maths questions daily depending on what topics we're covering again but also on topics that I've not looked at in ages so it was all about just doing a tiny bit each day this time is the time to be building habits because if you make your revision effective from now that does not mean six hours daily it just means a tiny bit of revision to help you get into that schedule and the 
to that routine, then by the time March, April, May comes about, you will be in a really good position, trust me. Now, speaking of March, April, May, when should you actually start revising? What does that mean? What does it mean to start revising? Now, you should always be revising throughout the year. You should always be going over your notes or your practice questions or your flashcards. That's the most important one for me. But the time where you should be focusing on past papers, specifically, I would say, would be from March onwards. March is usually the time where you start finishing off the specification and you start finishing off the subjects that you're doing. And so it starts going into revision lessons. You're done with everything. So that's when you should really be starting to do past papers. Now, you can do past papers from now if you really want to, but just do one like like a week or one every two weeks depending on the subject don't do a lot don't make them a daily thing yet try and right now focus on topic questions and getting those out of the way one thing i do not want you to do is to save anything for the exams don't be like i don't want to do this now i'm going to wait until my exams come closer and then i'm going to do it if you have some sort of resource that you can do practice questions on make sure you use it i think my biggest regret from GCSEs, is even though i did think it went really well if there was one thing i would have changed in terms of the way i revised it would be not leaving all my resources until the very end like there was a lot of practice questions I had available to me but I didn't do them because I was like oh what if I run out when my GCSEs are like around the corner then what am I going to do but what ended up happening is I had so many practice questions to do when my exams were like one or two days away and it was just way too much if I had started those a bit earlier it would have made my life so much easier and it would have meant that I could actually do as much practice as I could have for each subject I mean it still went well it's still okay but the more practice you can do generally the better it would be for you so in terms of the plan for it Right now, just do a bit of daily revision. Focus on your exams. If you have any mock exams, if you have any topic tests, focus on those, try your best for those. Then around March, April time, that's when you should really be making a plan. I will release another nine week revision plan video, an updated one again, and give you guys a plan in what you should do starting from nine weeks up until exam day and how you can slowly bring up that revision. But apart from that, you don't need to do much. Right now, all you need to do is chill out and just get a bit of revision done each day and that's it. I hope that clarified a few misconceptions, a few thoughts that you might have had. If you're still lost, if you're still confused, let me know down below in the comments. And apart from that, I've got nothing else to say. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a short informative video, just letting you guys know what you should be doing at this time. If you did, make sure you like the video and I'll see you guys next week, hopefully. Bye for now.